listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B. Wall, only on L.A. Talk Radio. <laughs> I can't hear me. Oh, You okay. should hear you. You're on there. I kind of hear it. I mean, I'm just so distracted by the suit, like the tie and the layers. Do y'all see him right now? <laughs> welcome to Social Misconduct or welcome back to Social Misconduct. I am Mick. And he's not B. Walt today. He is Mr. Walt, um, as you can see. Thank you. I'm going to talk in this voice. (laughs) Please don't. Please. I just can't even take it. (laughs) I don't compliment you often, but you look damn good, sir. (sighs) I know. (laughs) See, this is why I don't compliment (laughs) his ass often. (laughs) And then I look like shit today in a fucking (laughs) T-shirt. I just can't. Oh you need to explain gosh. it and where this came from because I'm very uncomfortable right now. I'm very like I'm sweating like a motherfucker. And all so this shit. I told him that he looks the fucking same every week. Like <laughs> every week, he, I just feel like he wears the same shit, and but, so he took that as a challenge. And this is um, what we are left with today, and it looks great. It's like I styled you myself, but G- I did not. GQ's Thug Nigga of the Year. I did not. <laughs> I didn't style him. He did it himself. So it just goes to show that he actually has great style and taste Some when he feels like it, which is not often. They can't see the bunny Uh, slippers under the table, though. If he had on bunny slippers, y'all know I would have said that shit (laughs) first. So, (laughs) And, you know, that would have been on Snapchat. But uh, (laughs) also, like. You and that fucking Snapchat, man. Speaking of Snapchat, dude. The dude at the mall. I'm so mad I didn't get him on Snapchat. <laughs> he had them black curly fly- fries oh my on God. his head. So, like, right before <laughs> oh, we come shit. to the studio, sometimes we'll go to the mall across the street. And we were just walking around wasting time today because we had, like, got all our shit together earlier. So, what store was that? Brookstone, uh, right? Uh, if I was him, I wouldn't let him in there. He the sto- out it was the a store with the massage chair. It's Brookstone, right? Yeah. So we're walking by and B is talking because he didn't see him. And I'm just like not listening because I see dude and I'm just like looking like, bruh, I know you see this. And then B turns like, what the (laughs) fuck is on his head? Was that a wig? (laughs) It was a wig with with the escrow activator. It was like, what the fuck? That shit was amazing. Like, I need somebody to come and get their uncle or daddy or something that out of the amazing. fucking mall looking a hot-ass mess. I just can't. I can't. And then the problem with going to the mall ahead of time is that I buy random shit. Um, <laughs> 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 so, um, yeah, we were at Z Gallery, which is, like, one of my favorite stores ever. And I saw... <laughs> I have been eyeing this, and I follow this chick on um, YouTube, Jacqueline Hill. She's like a makeup guru, like everyone loves her or whatever. And um, I watch her videos, and in the background is this big-ass, like, gold perfume bottle. It's really a bank, but who the fuck is really putting coins in there? I just want it because it's a gold (laughs) perfume bottle, and it's fucking huge. So (laughs) it's probably, like, the height, like, this height of the mic and it's big as fucking it's gold and it's great and so it's just for decoration (laughs) it's just everything and so i just bought that randomly um and then a notebook that said fucking brilliant because i am like (laughs) duh um so yeah (laughs) fuck (laughs) just saying so random like, I mean, we were just walking around the store and I just picked up shit and was like, I'm just going to buy this right now. Remind me to drag you through Best Buy. You have. No, I'm going to do it again. I don't mind Best Buy, though. I got to find some shit. Now, if you drag right. me through like a fucking Home Depot or something, that's like, kill me now. I don't even like Home Depot. That I can't do. I only go there when I need shit. Yeah, like, I can't. I can't just can. hang out in a home. I- but people do. Like, how? I don't understand. That's where you will kill me. Plywood. Best Buy. Plywood ain't that interesting, man. Best Buy and like some shit. So. Plywood ain't that interesting. Why would you be at home? De- fuck that. Now, the video game section at Best Buy where you had me was boring as fuck. Uh, but I'll look at some TVs noted. and computers and shit. I'll look at all that. 
but I'm hot as fuck right take, now. Take you can take some. Nah, hot. hell no. Nah. It was for show. Nah, like they it. see it, nope. it's great. Nope. You see, just gonna die hell on yeah. air. Yep, and it'll right. be your fault. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't be putting that shit on me. Mm-hmm. Y'all hear it? I mm-hmm. told him take it off. So if he die, it's on him. Mm-hmm. Okay, real quick, talk about the dating thing that we went. Oh, we yeah. got some time. Not yeah, real this quick. dating this this place is where I used to work VIP social events. Mm-hmm. And we used to put together. It's not really a. D- I mean, you know, people meet people there, but it's more dating for networking, networking, networking yeah. type of thing. So. uh yeah, I went to go visit them because I hadn't seen them in a while. I used to work with them. It was cool. And, and this was my first time going. He wanted me to check it out. and So I'm sitting there talking business with the owners, and you got how many dudes? She had about 37 motherfuckers coming to her trying to holler at her Well, explain the, the concept real quick, just the, with the key it's and the called, lock. It's called lock and key. So basically the girls get locks, the guys get keys, then, um, you know what I'm saying? Like the guys are supposed to unlock the locks and it's, it's a conversation start. Yeah. So it's yeah. random though. Like you don't know clearly they, what key is going to unlock what lock. So. But she had 37 <laughs> dudes in a row like come Shut on up. try to unlock her shit. Not true. And after a while it's like man we over here talking business. There's like get lost. There's but in the beginning around. when we first walked in remember we went straight to the bar. We didn't get a lock. So remember the guy came up to me with his fucking key poking at me and I'm like what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> why are you walking over here poking at me like no <laughs> fucking weirdo like <laughs> but after f- you figured out how the game so works, then i'm like fish. yeah so like b didn't tell me like that was the concept because you know us we go straight to the bar so <laughs> we're at the bar i'm standing there waiting on my drink and he just walk up with this little key and sh- i'm like uh, mm, 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 what the fuck you doing back yeah. up off me for one i don't yeah. like all that yeah, well, I used to work with them, and we put the events together. Shout I think out. the concept was really cute. Yeah, though. it's cool. It's cool. Like, it, it, it's fun too because the way it it's set is. Up. And I did have guys coming up to me. She had thirty. I counted. It was it about was thirty-six, not, thirty-seven dudes. It was like four. Like it was not that many. It was one, like four. One, my favorite guy was uh, was uh, dude Chris from New from York. New York. He, he was, was cool. cool as See, fuck. I met like homies. Like all the guys that I met were just cool as shit. Well, not all of them. But Chris, Two guys Chris I would I drink met. with. Chris, I would drink with. Yeah, After I cool. talked to him, From I was like, yeah, I drink with this dude. He had just moved here like three weeks ago, so he was just checking it out. So, like, he, I think, did he unlock my lock? I can't even remember. I think he tried and it didn't, but we just kept talking because we were joking about it or whatever. But he was cool. And then the homie Taylor that I met, <laughs> I th- him, that's man. the he homie. Cool. Like, he's hilarious. I was over there hooking him up with girls and shit. Like, oh, <laughs> then unlock her lock. So, he was fun. It was a cute concept. Um, no, I did not meet anyone. I'm good on that. That's not why I was there. I was there to just check it out, see how it was. B was catching up with people he she used got to a work bunch of numbers, with. Dog. I did not get she numbers. Got a bunch of numbers. I don't even give out my fucking numbers. She did it old so. school too. She did it old school with the little squares, little little paper squares. Really? Yeah, hell yeah. Fuck a phone. Right. No. We paper squares that. and a pencil. God. And then we like bar hopped that night. We were drunk, dancing in parking lots and shit. Where the fuck did we end up? Downtown. Salvage. Well, two. We went to Dublin's and Salvage. Ah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Whipping and nae nae and shit. Was I whipping and nae nae? At Dublin's? Ah, that's right. It was on Snapchat. They saw it. Fuck Snapchat, man. And when you jumped out the car. In that parking lot, dancing to New Edition. Oh, I was proud of that. That shit was hilarious. So if y'all follow me on Snapchat, you saw it. I was it. proud of that. The fact that I remembered the dance. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> if it is a love. Okay. All right. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Yeah, I had a lot of drinks that night. <laughs> and then the next day, my friend Nikki and I, I'm saying my friend to the people. I know you clearly know who Nikki is. I ain't is. cool with Nikki like that. Nikki, you hear that? Mm-hmm. Um, Making all them beige she jokes. She gonna text in a minute. Making like, all them beige you. jokes. Um, <laughs> we went to like a beauty event in Santa Monica um, on Sunday. So the day after, I was slightly hungover from the night before. Uh, but you know, I still drink. <laughs> I mean, it was because that's what alcoholics do. It was open bar. Fuck, fuck yeah! Like, like fuck! <laughs> like we get over it. <laughs> but I didn't drink a lot. I just had champagne and wine. And you know, to me, that's like juice. So it was fine. <laughs> that's, see, that's what's so funny because I, I could drink whiskey all night and be straight. And yeah, you'll drink wine. One sip of wine and I'm like, like yeah. drunk. Me, yeah. I could fuck up a bottle and be a little tipsy, like sleepy. Like, it's fine. <laughs> I'm good. Um, 
So that was fun. I had a bougie moment eating caviar and crab oceanside at this beauty event. So looking at two hundred dollar makeup brushes and shit. So fuck. Yeah. Wayne Goss. There's a makeup brush that costs two hundred dollars. What was a set? Oh okay. Of like what eight know, maybe what the, they make the, what are the bristles made out of unicorn hair I mean why the fuck well what? I don't know those particular ones but I know that they make brushes out of like squirrel are hair. you fucking no, I'm kidding me serious. squirrel uh I don't know other animals there's like a lot of different animals. So they don't a, kill the animals it's a group of squirrels running around with no hair on their tails just and little shit. hair like low it grows back they're fine Terrible. it's fine it feels great on the fucking face okay. Terrible. Fine. But you ain't gonna go pick up a squirrel in nature and rub his ass on your face. Like, no. just leave the motherfucker alone. But they're synthetic brushes too. I have a lot of. I have synthetic brushes and like real hair. It just depends. That's Nikki. I'm gonna turn my phone. Off. <laughs> <laughs> she said goat hair. So goat hair. Yeah, those feel great. I ain't gonna even. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. I'm gonna let you feel one of the fucking makeup brushes, and you're gonna be like, damn. Holy shit. I don't see why I would need to do that. No, I'm just going to let you feel so you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm uh-huh. not putting makeup on. Okay. Just so you know what I'm saying. All That's right. all. I'm just making sure. If you put makeup on, we got to talk. Real quick, shout out to Eric and Julia, the owners of, of VIP, yes. just because I hadn't seen them in a while and they're doing well. And um, Then we may have somebody on the show yeah, soon. We might, so stay we, tuned. We might have to bring him. Because <laughs> Eric is, is nuts, man. I yeah, he was, he was funny. He's nuts. So we will be probably bringing him on the show. We'll have some guests coming up soon. We're just trying to pinpoint dates. But we have like three actually lined up. We're just trying to figure out some details. So stay tuned for that. We're trying to bring on more lifestyle people because we have um, a new lifestyle company that we can't really tell you too much about at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so forget I even brought it up. We um, have something that you don't need to hear about right now. Right now eventually we will talk about that company but um it'll all make sense later so we will get into the fuckery news the fuckery news mm-hmm. would you start please uh my phone is loading i will start Piece of shit fucking i f s whatever the fuck all right here we go so a man in ohio <laughs> <laughs> called 911 to complain that he smoked too much weed <laughs> as hell <laughs> oh my god so he called and was like they said they found him in a fetal position <laughs> on the floor groaning and surrounded by snacks that included doritos <laughs> the fact that they named the snacks pepperidge farm goldfish crackers and chips away cookies that sound like munchies, that sound munchies. Like- that's some munchy shit yes <laughs> Especially those Pepperidge Farm. Don't sleep on the Pepperidge Farm goldfish. Well, I've had um, edible goldfish. And by edible, y'all know what I'm talking about. I mean, yes, it's edible because it's food. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> so, I mean, can you imagine? Just bomb. Like, he weed probably, and goldfish put together? He probably, he probably ate himself stupid. So dude know. was fucked up and he called and was like, Hey, um, I'm too high. I can't feel my hands. <laughs> Smoke too much weed. And he even told the officers that he had more weed in the car. <laughs> you know he fucked up. You know this ain't a brother either. Gave the officers his car key so that they can go and get it. Then they found a glass jar of marijuana paraphernalia in the man's car after he gave them the keys he refused medical treatment and of course they didn't charge him this is in ohio the last time i checked weed wasn't legal so you know he wasn't black this ain't a brother for two you reasons clearly no. for two reasons one he ain't ain't nobody the ain't no is. black dude ever that high to tell the cops where the rest of his where the rest of his shit. call him in the first place but right. when they get there to tell you where the rest of the stash is that's not something we do i'm, I'm just no it's just not second we're never that second high. they didn't put his name in the report yeah that's another thing. Then sign. you know that. And no picture. Because they'd have been real quick. Deshaun Jackson got caught with. with such and, and no such picture. Weird. They would have showed Hell a black yeah. man's picture. So yeah. we already know what this is about. <laughs> <laughs> Officer, I'm a little high. God. And I have leftover weed in a, in a I, jar. In a jar. Remember that cookie incident I had? <laughs> but a bitch stay put in her bed. I ain't calling the cops. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> you, were, you was texting me and Ryan, though. <laughs> Oh, my God. I think I'm high. And Rodney. <laughs> Rodney was like, bitch, get out the bed. <laughs> Walk around. 
<laughs> eat something. You need some air. That's not smart. <laughs> Stay put to that shit we're off. Oh my god. Uh, that was a bad incident. Uh, okay, so uh, Jesus fucking Christ with this phone. I'm about to start back printing for woman's, you. Woman's eye sealed shut after <laughs> friend mistakes glue for eye drops. <laughs> Basically, if my phone will load up, I can give you a story. But basically, Stupid. she has something in her eye, right? Yeah. An unlucky woman had her, got her eye glued shut after her friend mistook glue for eye drops. Mm. In Florida, of course. <laughs> Lantana, Florida? I've never even heard of that. She got, she got, I guess, leaves or some sort of... Like debris. Debris yeah. in her eye. Her friend runs, giving her what she thinks is eye drops. It turns out to be glue. She said it burned immediately. You think? This bitch, I was... <laughs> glued together for eight days <laughs> eight days are you fucking serious eight days eight hold that's past the week eight <laughs> you fucking crazy i have to beat your ass i will fuck my friend up with my one eye open i will I'll fuck beat you your up. Ass. bitch how you just don't look at what you giving me i can't like so she went to a doctor and the doctor gave her antibiotics and ointment, but wouldn't treat her any further because she didn't have money to pay him. <laughs> you fucking asshole. My eye is glued shut and you're not, I'm Fetty Wap right now. You're oh, not you brought this as fuck. Fucking giving me. You can't say his name without me doing it. I'm going to try not to do it. <laughs> I'm going to try not to, but it might pop up in the middle oh of the show God, somewhere. It probably will. Like. So I'm going to have to just walk around looking like Fetty for eight goddamn days because I don't have no money to pay you. <laughs> Either that or she looked like the money shot in a porn. Like, uh, gross. <laughs> Especially at the glue all crisp. Ew. All ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> so she said after the story uh, made the news, that's when the doctor's office called her ass back and was like, oh, we'll help you now. Fuck you. Well, he was trying to get some press or something? Yep. So you don't want to help me and shit. But eventually they got, you know, fixed <laughs> it, got the eye open. And um, there was, like, no damage other than, like. Good for her. Glue, probably. I'm, I'm still slapping the shit over. out of my friend, though. But, oh, was, I'm fucking my I'm, friend I'm up. fucking my friend up. Bitch, like, I'm Motherfucker, read ass. a label. Like, how the fuck you give me glue and not eye drops? Are you fucking serious? Eye drops don't look shit like crazy I mean, glue. Well, no, this was this was a crazy glue. It was nail glue. Oh. Yeah, so like fingernail glue, like to uh -huh. glue fake nails on. It was nail glue, and they're about the same size. But like, I'm gonna need you to read. Like, pass it. Re it's fundamental. Like, read, bitch. Like, are you serious? I can't <laughs> fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh. And you know, if some shit in your eye, you just like you trust your friend. You're not reading the shit if you say go get me some eye drops. You just put the shit in your eye real quick. You can't see anyway. That's what I'm saying. So, like, you're, like, panicking and shit. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So, there's that. <sighs> this next one's interesting. I, oh. <laughs> I, I chose this one specifically for you because. <laughs> I need to find I, this mushroom. I'm a caring friend. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to Hawaii. Hawaiian, Hawaiian, Hawaiian <laughs> mushroom makes women orgasm just by smelling it. Smelling it, ladies. Like you ain't gotta do. Dudes shit. need to get a hold of this shit. Wait, Grind it up and put it in some wait, cologne. There's more. <laughs> okay, so women. It's an orange mushroom in um, the scientists found in Hawaiian lava flows that can induce instantaneous orgasms in women just from the odor that it gives off. So it's saying that it's something in the mushroom that's part of hormones some shit i don't know but it's picked up by our own neurotransmitters so it basically tricks the brain into thinking you're having sex which is how women just be coming all over the place smelling it um so that's the science behind it but get this <laughs> to men it smells like horse shit so for us we love it. It like it makes us come all over the place. For men, it like it says it smells like we go horseshit. That's Mother Nature promoting lesbianism. <laughs> I can't. Way to go. I can't. I'm all for it. But you know, men don't give a fuck. Hell they no. will chop this shit up in pieces, have it surrounding the bed, and shit. They don't give a shit. If you can smell like horseshit and still get pussy, I mean, don't care. men don't give a fuck. They don't care. We will bathe in the shit. Yeah, like it doesn't matter. But it's just funny how to men it's like <laughs> disgusting, and to us like it just makes us come. 
So I just feel just to help y'all out, I should try it out and just find it and just let you know if it works. We can take a trip to Hawaii. Yes. Label it a business trip. Mm -hmm. And find this damn orange mushroom. It's a plan. Yep. It's a deal. So it smells like horse shit to men. What does it smell like to women? I, it didn't say the like the scent that it gives. It just says that it makes us come. So I would if imagine we come that in, we don't give a fuck about. I, but I would smell. imagine that it would smell the same, though, right? Like you, you. Would. I don't know. Then again, if you're getting, they call them fungasms. <laughs> Which is if hilarious. you're getting fungasms, right? We don't give a fuck about the smell. We ain't even paying attention <laughs> to the smell. Like I don't know. Probably just smell like a regular mushroom does. Like I don't know. But that's what it's saying. It just says that. It just tricks the brain into thinking that, that you're having sex. There's got to be a way to harness this some way. You already know There's somebody bottling this shit. This in some way. Like maybe. Like bitch smell this. <laughs> like just be putting it up to girls in the club and shit. Smell this. What <laughs> the fuck? Like, <laughs> spritzing it on chicks. <laughs> or spritzing it on yourself. That's what I'm saying. And make things, girls think that they come in because you're just so irresistible and shit. You already know a man is on top of this shit. They, they about to get this together. It's going to be the next hot cologne watch. <laughs> you walking around thinking you smell like shit. Horse shit who did toilet. And, hey. Wow. Man, right, don't well. give a fuck. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> so I'll <laughs> let you talk about this one because you said someone. Yeah. A roller derby girl that you actually know sent this. Yes. Salty Slaughter from. Salty uh, Slaughter. That's her well, name. that is a name. Yeah, because she's a server, too. Okay. From, you know, that roller derby team that I, I mess with. Yes. I go and watch them sometimes. Bad Fish down in uh, Long Beach. Mm -hmm. She sent me a story about an Indiana roller derby woman who is trained in medieval combat. <laughs> They she beat, beat the shit ass. out of a home intruder. Yes. She fucked dude up. Roller derby chicks house. are hard as fuck. Like, you don't fuck with a roller derby well, girl. Well, look at her. But I'm she saying, hard as fuck. They, they throw down every week or whenever they play. They fight for like I know. an hour at a time. 43, She's Karen 43 year old. Dolly in Indiana. Mm -hmm. And guy broke in her house. Was it early morning, middle of the night? Something like that. Mm -hmm. And. She fucked him up. And that's not all. <laughs> she pulls out a sword. A specific kind of sword, too. <laughs> Big ass. Ninja shit. Oh, my God. Nin, 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 what? Ninjato? Ninjato? I, I guess. It's a Japanese-style sword and that she just had because she used to do, um, used to fight in medieval combat fighting. I don't fucking know. This hey. is crazy. Roller. When she was 18, she, like, did this shit. And so she had this sword from, like, years and years ago. Pulled that shit out on him just to, like, make him, like, sit there until the cops came. So she didn't use it on. She did beat his ass. But <laughs> she, like, pulled the sword out on him and, like, had it pointing in his face, basically, in a corner. Had that motherfucker in a corner until the cops came. And then he, she said he tried to reach into his jacket. And, like, she kind of stuck it at him a little bit more. <laughs> like, don't fucking move or I will use this bitch on you. Roller like, derby girls. You don't fuck with a roller derby oh girl. Oh, my God. You don't fuck with a roller derby girl. They, they they some hard motherfuckers. But here's the thing that's even funnier. She was reaching for her gun first. I know. And she couldn't even get to so it. So her ninja sword is her backup weapon. This bitch ain't nothing to be played. Y'all better recognize. She, she will, will survive she in the zombie survive. apocalypse. <laughs> she will be around. She's fucking ready. She said she was trying to reach into the drawer where she keeps the gun, but she, like, you know, because you're in a panic, she got, reached into the wrong drawer, and so it was empty, and that's how she, like, grabbed the sword, just thinking on it, like, I'm going to still fuck you up. Don't think, because I don't have this <laughs> gun, that I can't get in that ass. I would be more scared of, a, of somebody with a ninja sword than a gun. Me too! Because <laughs> you got to be pretty precision to know how to use one of those. Shit, she ain't playing. And she said, at the end of the day, I'm glad to know that even if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm not going down without a fight. Hell no. Nobody else. If they read the news, girl, watch shit. the news, read the shit. They ain't, ain't coming nobody, to your house. Nobody fucking with her no more. Mm, nobody fucking with you. <laughs> I need to learn some shit. Remember I said I want to learn sword fighting? You want to learn sword fight? Yes. And go to a gun range. Peter set you up with the gun range. I've been wanting to do that. 
I don't need you practicing with no guns. You got a short temper. You fucking. I'm not gonna shoot buy me. a gun and just have it in my house. I just want to know how to shoot. You will shoot me over and some just bullshit. to get some aggression out. You would shoot at me for chewing them butterscotch candies Ooh, too loud. I really would. Fuck that. You ain't doing it. Nope. I would shoot your fucking nope. pinky toe off. Yep. Fuck sure is would. this Harlem night? Yep. Sure would. <sighs> All right. So. <laughs> Gross. DNA. <sighs> From a man's poopy shorts leads to his arrest. Nasty motherfucker. A year later, though. Yes, a year later. 13.5 months later. So, yeah, this shit happened last August in 2014 when he broke into a Denver preschool. You son of a bitch. And a church. Asshole. Um, <laughs> so, he got away. Broke in. Stole, like, some electronic shit, like computers and stuff, right? an instrument so some shit i don't know something like that worth like over four thousand dollars and he wasn't caught at that time but the one of the teachers from the preschool found his nasty shit stained fucking shorts in the bathroom why for one why you take them off did you shit because you shit on yourself like i don't know she found these in the bathroom of the preschool at that time gave them to the cops when they came <laughs> And because it said they take, um, it can take 13, well, it took, it shouldn't take, but it took 13.5 months for them to get through the forensic labs. Really? Um, <laughs> Who the fuck is studying Dookie that long? Well, it's not studying Dookie. It was his underwear. But, like, to but, get through the, like, they probably was just like, fuck this shit, whatever. Then nobody die. It wasn't like, I don't think that because it was a high crime, they were just like, whatever. So they just pushed that shit to the side, probably for more important shit. <laughs> and then <laughs> finally got to it and took the DNA sample. And that's how they found out. And because he was already in the system for a felony, they caught him what? because of that. Like instantly his DNA matched because he was already in the system. Criminals. Why, why do y'all do shit like that? Like how, how many stories have we done where somebody will break into a house and eat something or I take know, a dumb shit, shit or it's jerk off to porn and then wonder why shit. you get caught? You stupid motherfucker. What the fuck was he thinking? What did he think that they was going to think his shitty ass draws belong to the preschoolers? I have so many questions about the shitty dra- Like mm. the fuck man. Gross. So what did they, Nasty so they caught stuff. him. Yeah. Well, he was already charged earlier this week of two counts of burglary, two counts of theft, and one count of identity theft. So he was already like in trouble. And then they added these charges on top of that shit from some shit that happened over a year ago. Did he poop at the other places? Too? <laughs> I didn't say. Hmm. So yeah, he was already in custody <laughs> in the Colorado <laughs> Department of Corrections. So this shit is hilarious. Like literally shit this is one of those what the fuck moments but i have to thank people like him because like i said we wouldn't have shit to talk about he looks like if a latino dude like him, from what's this his picture name? Rod- rodney, rodney mark, mark hendrix. hendrix but look at the picture well he could be white he looked latino to me in the picture his face looks sunken in like he's a drug user of some sort he could be like a meth head probably if he's shitting on himself and, <laughs> and robbing preschools and churches get your nasty <laughs> stupid ass the fuck out of it like ugh <laughs> can't <laughs> uh. the ejaculator um y'all know how we love talking about weird stupid ass sex toys on this show i so, think this is amazing i bet you do no you don't no I don't. you would never use this shit i would buy it as a gag gift for somebody okay you would do that so <laughs> the ejaculator um lets you feel a porn star's thrust look what the subtitle says there they're, are guns to pull put all, all the hookers, hookers out. out. <laughs> I mean, got a point. So yeah, um, and we've talked about so many revolutionary sex toys. Sex toys where you get robotic hand jobs, AI, sex dolls, 3D porn, like all type of shit. So this is not that damn different. Basically, it comes with a mask that you put on and you put your phone in the little mask because you're watching it. And then it comes with like a remote control to control the app. It's an app. And um, the little sleeve, I guess. That's a good good term. Vagina sleeve. Um, But it comes in a a vagina sleeve (laughs) and anus. For those that like that. 
And is that a, is that an anal sleeve as well? I guess. Okay. And then a mouth. They have a mouth sleeve. Mm-hmm. A mouth like a tongue. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, so those are the three right now. They're working on other stuff. Okay, like, what other holes are le- okay? What other holes left? No holes. It said that um, one was like an alien, some shit. Alien <laughs> pussy, really? Yeah, really. That's what it says. <laughs> I didn't make it up. Alien pussy. <laughs> oh, where, where did they get the notes to build alien pussy? Maybe it was a request. You know, people are fucking weird. I don't know alien pussy okay all right all right all right and it comes in two sizes mainstream and holy shit that's what it says you keep looking at me like this is what it says please please explain two sizes i guess mainstream is just a regular size and holy shit is like big dick yeah i i i I seem to think the big dick dudes ain't really gonna need to go through the trouble i highly doubt it uh unless (sighs) he just fucking lame and ugly though just because you got a big dick don't mean that we would know. Well, how would we know? You lame and ugly. Well, I'm not even getting there's to There's a dick. bunch of ugly big dick dudes that do porn. So either way okay. it goes, you can get a job, get paid to fuck. Okay. I'll give you that. I don't see what's the point of the big dick. I don't dick. know. I, I can see the little dick version that would well, sell well. Well, there's a holy shit version. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love that name. And shapes like mouths anuses and even extraterrestrial sex organs extraterrestrial that's what it sex says. Organs. i don't fucking know but alien pussy like i really want to see what some alien know. pussy look like i do too shit I that's some star trek shit i really want to see it um and then it will have small rubber feet to keep it on the edge of a hard surface while you fucking it i guess um and a desk mount that can be attached to a variety of surfaces and then a leg mount that will allow it to be used while laying down are like thinking this through a leg mount <laughs> don't demonstrate i don't want to see I'm... <laughs> stop how would that please? work please <laughs> for the love of god stop leg mount that's what it says <laughs> yes sir um so there if you want to contribute there is an Indiegogo account, I mean, campaign going on where you can donate. I mean, you know, they've already almost reached their, their goal. I wonder why. Hey. So this will probably be a $48,000 goal. Um, three quarters of that has been raised in eight days, and they got 22 days left. I think they're good. There are a lot of dick beaters in the and world. And they'll be selling this for $125 a pop if you're interested. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> uh, I still want to know what alien pussy looks like. I can we get to the bone? Mm, I don't know if we have time. Real quick. Okay. We found a story where a suspected car thief drives a stolen car to the police station. Uh, stupid motherfucker. Mm-hmm. And he is black. He's a brother. Dumb In Florida. <laughs> 18, though, dummy. He's 18. He drove a stolen car to the police headquarters to pick up court papers about a previous auto (laughs) theft that he was involved in. You're an idiot, sir. You're a fucking idiot. Carnell Eugene Butler. That is a black ass name. All right. Which part? (laughs) All of it. (laughs) Carnell Eugene Butler. That's like his granddaddy name. He was named out Eugene. Eugene. He was named out his granddaddy. Because that is a black ass name. Eugene. But there's no story. That's the story. He's a fucking idiot. Um, and then Netflix and chill. There's condoms now. For Netflix and chill? Mm-hmm. Is Netflix the one pushing these? No. Oh, okay. That People, you know the whole Netflix and chill joke. No. Yeah. And everybody's talking about it, and it's like the hot thing. You know people are going to jump on that, and... If you're business minded, so no, there's like three different companies selling condoms called Netflix and Chill, and you can find them at three different places. If you're looking to buy them, Elite Daily is where we got this story from. Netflix. But Netflix and Chill dot com, oh condom dot com, nine ninety nine for a four pack. How much condoms cost? That sounds about hmm. standard, I think. For four, okay, and then a twelve pack for, th- I mean a three pack for twelve dollars. Uh huh. That's a lot. I guess I don't know. 
How is the three dollar one the three pack? The four one pack. More I than know. The four pack. It's a it's two different companies. Is one lubricated for her or ribbed for her pleasure? Or what? Go you got to go to the website, tell me. It's I'm straight. Three I'm, <laughs> I'm cool. Three websites. <laughs> I don't know. I'm cool. <sighs> Netflix and fucking chill. I'm going to just stick to regular condoms. I'm <laughs> All right. So that's that. All right. So the segment I pulled today is why taking your relationship to the next next step isn't a way to save it people because you know so many people think oh if we move in together oh if i have a baby oh if we get married like shit like that that that'll like keep him or her you know stuff like that that's what this is about clearly and that does not and it's usually women i hate to put us out there but it's usually women that think if we can just get to this step, things will be better. Or like, he'll stay. He'll stop cheating. Like, no, girl. No. No. Because men aren't usually the ones pushing marriage or moving in together. It's usually not men. It's usually women. Well, let's look at both sides real quick. Okay. Let's look at both sides. So you say women do that to... Think that it'll save the relationship oh we move in together that'll be better bitch that is making it worse <laughs> yeah if he's one of those big mistakes if he's one of those dudes huge if he's one of those dudes that doesn't <laughs> want to be locked down and he's acting like he doesn't want to be locked down you forcefully moving in with not a good idea won't save it it'll push him further away it, it just won't and because men are fucking stupid in general they'll go along with it you know why? It's a form, like of, it's a form of pacification. Yeah, it's like, like, all right, well, fuck whatever. it. Whatever. Just whatever. like men will marry your dumb ass and still <laughs> cheat. <laughs> he will still fucking cheat, girl. Like, don't think because he agreed to marry you because you fucking pressured him and begged him or whatever the fuck you did, that it will save the relationship. It will not. Trust me. It won't. <laughs> like, girl. So, mm-mm. Because I don't see men like, oh, if I marry her, she'll stay. No. Like like you said, men will oblige and just do it because they're stupid. It's a form of pacification. But they're not doing it to keep you necessarily. They're, keep, they're doing shit to just shut you the fuck up. Which is stupid because that is like a big life-changing event. But men really do get married and they're not ready. And women, too. I mean, people in general just get married and they're not ready. And they're just thinking, oh, it's just the next step in the relationship. We've been together for so long. If you've been together for five years or more, girl, and y'all, there's other issues. That's not going to save your relationship. Your relationship was doomed three years ago. Like, <laughs> I just, like, sorry. I'm just being blunt here. Like, I just... I never understand this shit, which is why I chose this, because I know people that do shit like this. And it's a disaster every fucking time. Every time. Me personally, I don't plan to live with a man ever again in my life. Ever. Not never. Not ever, ever? Never, never. Mm -mm. I'm good. I like my space. Uh so I, I, and you know I ain't having no damn babies and that is like the biggest mistake right there yeah, cause now you're bringing that nigga a, for at least 18 and then years. you're bringing a child into a fucked up relation like he ain't staying with you girl <laughs> you, or dudes you got her pregnant and now you think what yeah if we explore I mean cause dude you, know, you say it's mostly women but I yes. know men I know men that are the quote unquote fuck boys that you would call them that don't particularly want to lose someone mm -hmm. but they still fuck boys but they still, fuck they still boys. gonna do what they, they still wanna gonna do, do what they want to do but they want to lock your ass but they're down. locked they're mm -hmm. trying to lock you up so they'll do stuff like that too mm -hmm. baby baby, baby let's get married like you know, <laughs> that's true i want to marry you no and goddamn well no. No, damn well you don't barely like her in the first place <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You just don't. You're comfortable. Because <laughs> what they do, what they do, what they do is She cooked good tacos. And exactly. Stuff. I mean, you <laughs> It'd be one thing. They, they weigh the pros and cons. Like, well, she ain't that bad. You know, it's like no. marriage is one of those things. Like, you either know you want to do it or you don't. If you have and questions about not. it, if you have questions about it, that means you don't want to fucking do the Hello. shit. Hello. 
you know, but guy, you're right. Guy, guys do it. Guys do it too. And 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 in my opinion, uh, for the men, it is. It's, it's just like a pacification thing. It's like, yeah, I don't really want her to go anywhere, but you know, it's kinda, I don't. Uh, it just makes me. I don't sick. understand the dysfunctional justification of doing this kind me of stuff. Me neither. I don't get it. This is a good point. It says a relationship can be in one of three stages. It can be moving forward and growing. That's what you want. <laughs> it can be stagnant. <laughs> That's what you don't which want. Which is which is possible. It's possible to be fixed at this point. Yes. Though, if you don't. Or it can be regressing and falling apart. Which can also be fixed, but trying to take something. Put it this way. It's like building a house, right? If the foundation is fucked right. up, you're not going to push it on top of it, right? So if you're at a certain stage and y'all ain't doing well at that stage, like if y'all been on three dates and y'all can't even get along, why the fuck y'all going to try to make it steady? <laughs> You know what I'm Don't saying? Don't force that shit. Right. If y'all are dating and you can't travel together, why are you going to try to live? The, like, stuff like that. Yeah. Like, you don't skip the stage without basically y'all not argue. mastering the stage, but making sure that that stage is strong. Y'all arguing just spending the night with each other. Right. <laughs> Girl. Y'all can't even decide what to watch when you Netflix and chilling and you trying to, <laughs> you know. Or the way that he eat his butterscotch candy dry, you <laughs> fucking crazy and you want to shoot him in a goddamn pinky toe. <laughs> Bitch, it ain't going to work because if he like butterscotch candy and that annoys you, guess what? Living with his ass is going to be worse. Sorry. <laughs> I know that was a stupid oh, shit. example, but I really wanted to punch the fuck out of him earlier because he eats his candy and he does it on purpose because he knows it annoys the shit out of me. You're digressing. <laughs> We're having a serious conversation, it's and you're talking serious. about butterscotch fucking candy right now. <laughs> you know I gotta throw something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. Oh my god. You know what I mean though? Because it's like you can't skip stages. You can't fucking do it. And if it ain't working in the previous stage, jumping to the next one is not gonna make. It's just not. It's not gonna make it any fucking better because what you're doing is you're ignoring the shit that bothers you about them <laughs> right? anyway. And they're right. not going to change, change if you don't not deal with it and make some sort of compromise. They're just going to keep doing the same shit over and over at each stage. So if you're dealing some, with somebody who's super fucking selfish and yeah. they ain't got that shit in check. Yeah. In the they're not stage even acknowledging two, it. Right. Yeah. It's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. Right. You know, what I mean? it's, it's just one of those things. And living with a selfish motherfucker. Trust. Mm, mm-mm, that ain't what you want to do. It says... Like another point they made, Hold, holding on tighter for the sake of keeping people in your life won't work. Nah, it pushes them away. It the does the part. opposite. It, it, it pushes them away because a, a grown person still want to feel like they're grown. And if a grown person going to do, on, yeah, what the fuck they want to do right. regardless. You, you the, can't make a man or a woman do anything. Right. You, you can't. Put, you put the clamps on them and they start feeling crowded. The first thing they're going to want is to kind of, you know, <laughs> kind of. So. No, I see your push. You see, see the push? <laughs> I'm trying to find mm, other points mm, in mm, here. Mm, 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 <laughs> see, mm, and I digress. Mm, see this shit? Mm, mm, sorry. Oh, my God. Sorry. Taking a giant leap forward can ruin a relationship with potential. Yeah, because you haven't developed the it's, 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 you haven't developed the other the other things. You haven't found out enough about that person and know whether or not they're worthy of even going to that next step. You know, it's always good in the beginning. When you first meet somebody, oh, and, and you... Make fun of me about this shit. I go out on a date with somebody. Oh, she's the she one. She the one. I mean, clearly I'm joking. I know. But, you know, it's like. I'll be like, what makes it a one B? She got big booty. But people do that. <laughs> people you really. Laugh, and but people, people be do for real that. about they this They get shit. caught up on something <laughs> yeah. really minute or Very, superficial. Yeah. And you be like, okay, but <laughs> what else? What else? Uh. We got a lot in common. We both like video games. Right. Really? That's enough? Okay. She laughing my jokes. Really? That's enough? People don't spend enough time really getting to know somebody before they jump. You know. And the one thing I will say. I want to read what Nikki just texted so bad, but I'm going to just let it why, go. Why not? I'm going to let it go. Why not? I'm Is it about it me? <laughs> Motherfucking Nikki. <laughs> I'ma let it go. Nikki, forget I got a microphone and I know shit about her too. <laughs> so <laughs> I won't even repeat it. I won't repeat it. Mm-hmm. That shit's hilarious. Mm-hmm. It's not on our text, boo. It's just to me. Oh, ain't that some shit? 
<laughs> All right, Nikki. I got I'm you. Not gonna I got you. I got you. I got you. It would be such an easy joke, though. I'm just gonna let it go. Uh, <laughs> I got you, Nikki. I can't. Wait till the next time I see you. I haven't made one of those jokes in a long time. <laughs> You're not going to. It's six not, minutes left in the show. I'm not. You dressed up for me. I am not even gonna do. I am hot like as that. fuck still. Like right now, I'm sweating. Okay. Well, moral okay. of the story is, <laughs> you know, I love my morals <laughs> of the story. I had a point I was trying to make too, Nikki. <sighs> I forgot it. But. Don't do random shit. <laughs> yeah. Just to save a relationship. Like and stop and stop. Don't like move in. Don't get pregnant. Don't get married. Don't do any of those things. And, Just and, thinking that you can keep him or her. If it ain't working, it won't work. Right. Like stop unless you're to... putting in real work and like you know if it was meant to be and all that shit. But like major shit like marriage, children, living. Like no, no, no. We're not gonna do that. Don't do that. No, 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 no. You need to take your time and really try to figure somebody out. But you know my problem, and then I'll move this along. One of my biggest problems, and we were just talking about this, if something isn't working, it just simply isn't working, let it go. What's so hard about that? And I understand if you've been in a relationship for a while and you put time in it and all that shit, I get it. You, you want to, like, make that shit work, but you can't force something to work. Let it go. It's okay. You tried. The shit didn't work. Y'all ain't meant for each other. Like, it's okay to walk away. I hate when people, like, just try to force something just because you've been with this motherfucker for two years or whatever. To me, that's the mistake right there. You've been with this motherfucker for two years and it ain't been working. So why would you keep on forcing it to try you like to try to make it work? You know what I notice about people advancing in age, and I'll even say closer to our age demographic, is that they believe in that bullshit biological clock shit. And so, that they, too. so they try to speed shit mm-hmm. up. I've been going out with him for three days. He's the one. You know. And I just I feel like a lot of people just are not comfortable being alone. We've had this discussion. I love me <laughs> and being by my goddamn self. Like, I don't care. I like my space. I'm happy with me. I don't need to be in a relationship, but a lot of people do. Like, a lot of people just cannot be alone, and that's where a lot of this shit stems from. So if they're in a relationship, they don't even know how to not be in one. <laughs> so they're going to do everything they can to keep that relationship, even though it's bullshit, it's not working, you're unhappy. Like, it's dumb to me. It's fucking stupid. I'm way happier, like, outside of a relationship than being in one that just wasn't working. Like, I don't understand. Because then you get to be selfish and you don't have to explain that shit to anybody. Fuck. I was explaining that to someone today. <sighs> I, I was explaining understand. that to someone today. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait until our, our lifestyle consulting company is out there in the you world. Just, you just can't wait to talk about it, too. Like, can't keep wait, bringing it up. can't wait. All right, so you're going to Chicago. Yeah. Oh, was I even supposed to tell people that? You can say whatever oh, you okay. People don't know where I'm going to be at. So I don't know. That's true. Tomorrow, so you will be out of town. Yeah, I got family. How long see. has it been? Over a year. Damn. I saw when my nephew was born. Right. And I now remember. I'm going back to see him as uh, a one-year-old. Yes. Or a little bit older than one now. He's about one and a half yeah. at this point. Walking and saying words. And talking and, and bench pressing. Uh, all type of shit. <laughs> Super cute. He's so. like the cuter version. He's the cuter version of his mama. Yeah, I said it. Jennifer, I said well, it. Well, he's a baby, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not, like, cold there yet, so at least. And it'll be a relief from this fucking heat that we have. I'm so sick of 100 degrees in L.A. It's fucking October. It'd be, like, 97 degrees in my house. Yeah. With the fan blowing. It's so hot. And you know where we live. It's, like, 100. It was 103 this weekend. I was by the ocean on Sunday, and it was fucking hot. Like, it's usually cooler in Santa Monica. Did you get in the water? No. (laughs) Not in my dress. I'm my fucking outfit. up my hair. Oh, nigga. What? Oh, makeup. Nick. No. All right. Any shout outs, any announcements before we get the hell out of here? Uh, 
Can't think of anything. Nothing we can talk about yet. Not right now. Mm. A lot of good things happening oh. with us. We <laughs> just can't talk yeah. about any of them. Really, yeah, can't go there. <laughs> yeah. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. Sorry. But soon. Good shit, though. But soon. What else? Anything before we go? No, I can't. I really, I'm honestly, no, I can't. I'm just. Okay. I'm well, just as usual. about going home. Follow us on all social media. Facebook, Social Misconduct Radio, Instagram, Social Misconduct, and Twitter, Social Misconduct. Follow me on Snapchat, where you will see B. Walt um, for the next 24 hours Gosh. dressed up. <laughs> Look at him. He's taking a towel off already. Damn. I'm on Snap- Snapchat at It Girl Forever. Follow him on all social media at <laughs> B. Walt 80. I should really start doing he don't stuff. Do shit. I don't even know why I'm telling y'all to follow him. He don't do shit. Go look at the picture that he put on there a month ago. Basically. <laughs> and I'm it girl forever on pretty much everything. Also, um, our, our archives are always on our YouTube channel, Social Misconduct. Make sure you subscribe. And if you just want to listen, we're on iTunes as well as SoundCloud. While he's airing out, if there's nothing else, sir. Same time, same place next week. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B. Walt, only on LA Talk Radio.